Can we say you're partially retired from chess? No, I'm not retired from chess. What gave you that impression? I'm playing the World Rapid and Blitz. I'm going to play the FIA Grand Prix. I'm going to win it. I'm going to, I'm going to go beat Ollie Res and the candidates. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go G6, Bishop G7. This is plus three, by the way, so I really like this matchup. Um, What's dank? Was the puzzle dank? Okay, well, the puzzle is pretty straightforward, I thought. Okay, let's go E5. Oh, wait, uh, it's not my move. Wait, it's his move. It's not my move. Wait a second. Yikes. I was about to just train move E5 and he plays D5. I resigned the game. That could have been really bad. Um, Take. Take. I'm going to get a plopper on D4 here. Oh, did I just blunder? Oh, I did just blunder, didn't I? Ah, why did I do this? Should take with the knight too, not the not the rook. Okay, very very poor. Um, I'll go here, try to trade some bishops. I don't know what I'm doing this game. It goes there. I mean, I can obviously trade. He gets double pawns. I'm not happy. But there should be surely some way to salvage this, I feel like. Maybe just knight h6. Again, I'm not worried about the fossils. I can always just move my king out of the way. Not a great position, but I, I feel like it's kind of okay. Let's just go here. Okay, h3. I can obviously go h4. I think I should, actually. I think I should fix the weaknesses here. Not a good position, though. Will Magnus play the World Rapid and Blitz? I have no idea if he's going to play or not. Thank you to Carson for the 22 months. Uh, I mean, my guess is that probably he will. But again, I think all it, it all depends on the match, really. Okay, what can I do here? My position is just so terrible. I'm just going to go here and just wait, kind of. I mean, he can't really take advantage of anything. It doesn't look like. I also can take and go H3 at some point. D3. I'm gonna go here, try to go knight d7, maybe. Maybe rook h7. Not sure if it makes sense. I still am keeping knight g4 in my back pocket as well. I will do this now. I'll just trade. I have rook c8, rook d8, maybe knight, maybe knight back. Hmm. And go knight g8. I'm gonna go here in rook g5. Try to take play against this weak g pawn. Although I just allowed this, which was stupid too. Think about this for a second. I don't have rook g5. Yikes. This actually could be really bad. Not knight b6, which is a huge problem. Can't sack an exchange here. I can't move the knight. It's actually very bad, um, like very bad potentially. Terrible, terrible decision by me. I'm gonna try to run my king back or something. Who's there? I don't know if I should be concerned. Cause now I get f5 and takes maybe. Still bad. Oh, I gave him knight b6. Yikes. Go here. Did I just blunder. Yeah, I blundered a pawn, of course. Takes, I can take a knight f6, maybe. I still have e4. I mean, I'm trying to survive this. I might be able to make a draw somehow. I'm lucky. But I don't think I'm going to be lucky here. C6 is also a really good move. Take, let's go here, I guess. I rook g8, rook h5. Here, I've got rook f2. Rook h6 was maybe a bad move. I'm trying to draw this. I think if I can get some knight c3 in. There are some tricks. I, I think I might be able to draw this game now if I'm lucky. I definitely can't win. But maybe I can draw. The rook c6. I go here. Wait, but now I have knight b5. Oh, I knight... Wait, I actually... Wait, wait, wait a second. Alham is going to lose. I have this knight here. Or is he going to lose? He's actually going to lose this game, I think. Take this one. I don't even know why I did this. 
But I'm going to be able to flag him too, I believe. Again, I don't know why I did this either. What do I do? Yeah. I misplayed this. I should have been able to flag him, but whatever. It's still a draw. A uh, draw is fine. Oh my gosh. Did I really just do this too? Wow. Oh, I just threw that too. Yeah, I mean, I'm just playing bad chess. Total draw. Maybe Nicholas Sprain. I don't know what I was doing. I just lost my mind there. I thought I could flag him still. Very, very poor. Um, very, very poor. I just ruined like a lot of work there. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing that game. I mean, I, I should have just sacked the work for the pawn, but I was like, I didn't want to do it, and then I let him get knight c6. And I thought he had less time than he did. He had like 10 seconds there. Of course, I also just gave him e5. I need to slow this down a little bit. Yeah, that was really bad. Uh, let's go here. Okay, I can trade the bishop here for the knight. I can also take the bishop b3. That was so bad. I also could have I also could have kept the king close to the the queen side there. Deserved loss hardly, but I, I'll I'll win this game uh, to offset it. Cause I'm already much better. I'm probably already just winning in this game. In fact, wait, no, he's got knight. No, knight c5. I have b4. Yeah, this is already winning. I just wait let's make sure on this before I just blunder I just take the pawn and instantly just make a mistake I also go b4 here which is actually quite reasonable I'm just gonna go b eh, it feels like a bad it feels kind of bad but I'm gonna play it doesn't seem right I did reach 50 yeah 13 points lost of course I mean I should have just sacked the rook for the pawn but for some reason I forgot that, that was a possibility I'm gonna go here I don't like a5 he creates he creates a unnecessary weakness in the b pawn and now i mean i think i should just be very happy here i have c4 c5 i can play h4 h5 i can put a knight on c5 or d6 here and this is not going to end well for alham so i can play knight e4 here for k5 actually looks very fancy schmancy so i'm going to go for it probably not best actually but it, fancy schmancy and Wait, if I just trade it, go here. I mean, he's got a big weakness on F7 too. The problem is all his, all of his pieces are kind of misplaced. I mean, I can even go C4, C5. Okay, but that's just GG's. F7, yeah, game over. Question is, can I, oh, if takes, takes, doesn't quite work. Let's take, go here, clean it up. Two, two pawns uh, on the side, pass pawns, end the game very simply. They'll probably resign here, I expect. Who is if he has anything else? He goes there. I mean, here, queen f7, end the game. Checkmate. Oh, I already spoke about Ollie Res a little bit earlier. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna play something else. Uh, I think I'll play a St. George. Or maybe it's just no, let's play Sicilian. Um, let's just play here and takes. So here, bishop g7. I play c3, wants d4, wants a big center. I think I'll play e5. Let's go here. I'm gonna go b6. Maybe I have bishop a6 at some point. Maybe knight f6, maybe knight e7. Just keep it simple. Knight e7 might be better to keep the diagonal open. Maybe I, I, I now have bishop a6, I just realized. So not so simple to play okay now i do have bishop a6 which i will definitely play here maybe i should have traded first and gone bishop a6 but so be it that would have been much better 
Cool coverage for World Championship. I will be doing coverage about like an hour or two into it. Uh, wait, 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 wait a second. I take and take, I guess. I have 97. I think I'm just gonna take and. Oh, did I just hang some? Oh my gosh, I just hung. He had E5. He didn't play it. I mean, I kind of hung it. A little bit lucky that he didn't take advantage of it. Maybe very lucky, in fact. I guess if I go 97, 97, 95 is playable. 97, Queen E7, E5, takes, takes. Rook E8 is playable. What am I even doing in this game? I go rook c8, rook d1. I'm gonna play h5. Idea to play h4 here. I don't know if it makes sense. Play h4. If e5, I just take. If he takes, I go knight h5. I don't know if this is right. This looks a little bit sketchy. If g4, I can take, of course, with the pin. And obviously, trade takes, takes, knight h5, knight f4. Play on the dark squares, maybe. I don't know if I love it. Okay, so he does that. So I take, of course. Actually, he had e5 right away, I just realized. Let's go here. e5, I go rook e8, e6, I can just take, and I'm fine. Actually, e5, I can also just take, take, and I'm fine. Looks pretty good. Will Nepo dare to play the scotch? I don't think anybody knows what he's going to play exactly. I mean, I think it's uh, very, very unclear. Very, very unclear. I don't think anyone really... It's just too hard to guess. That's that's what I would say. Just too too hard to guess. Okay, he goes there. Um, I think I'm going to go here to take the file, maybe. Bishop e5 allowed knight c4. I didn't really like that, which is why I played rook c8. I want to stop the knight from jumping, and I want to take the dark squares eventually. Maybe e5, I go rook e8. B3. So he really wants knight c4 badly here. But I think I'm, I'm just going to go for it anyway. I don't think I can really stop it at this point. F2. Okay, let's go. Go here. Try to undermine this pawn at all costs. I think I'm I think I'm think better here, most likely. They'll play Ru Rui Lopez. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I have no idea what the openings are going to be in the match. Just too hard to guess. Really, really just too hard. I don't I don't think we'll see Spanish. Hmm. I'm gonna go B5, undermine the knight. I have Rook C2 at some point. Of course I should not have done this, but such is life. Say la vie. Let's go here, I guess. I thought I'd rook b2 here. Um, I can also go b4. Go b4. Keep it simple. Put the pawn on a dark square. Bishop can't touch it. Goes bishop e2. Logical move. I have to be a little bit careful now. I'll go here. Just there. I do have rook h1, maybe. Go rook h1, target the pawn here. I think I should be winning here. Now, I guess I'll take. Go check, and now rook h2. Knight e3. Okay, let's go here, I guess. How do I checkmate him, actually? Check, he comes up. Oh, wait, wait, my rook's under attack. What am I doing? Let's just go here, I guess. I want to go check, I guess. Okay, but I can just take. Again, I feel like I'm getting close to messing this up. Go. Okay, let's go here. There we 
we go. Got the win. Let's keep going. Two up, two down. Already repaired most of the damage. Actually, not most of the damage. It's only six points, but repaired some of the damage at least. Go here, knight, knight f3. Good to Ermic. Thank you to C CHDA Presents for the tier one. No, it was not checkmate, you guys. Uh, it was not checkmate. It was not checkmate because on Rook F1, he is King G2, so it was not so simple. Okay, Elham is staying for a long time here. I'm just going to castle. Go here, Bishop B3, of course. Am I playing the World Blitz in Rapid? I probably will be playing it because uh, if I, when I play it, then I will uh, then I will be able to play in the Fide Grand, uh, Fide Grand Prix. So I would say very likely I'm going to be playing. Like 90% certainty, I'll be playing the World Rapid and Blitz. Have we asked you, Carter, what do you think about Levy today? If not, let's let it be written, let it be done. I have nothing to say, you guys. I took a week off, and I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to talk about that. But thank you. Congrats on joining OTV. I did not join OTV, um, but you know I like what they're doing. They're great. They're a great, uh, great organization. Let's play Queenie One. I feel like I did something wrong here somehow. Maybe I should have gone E5. Yeah. Yeah, I have nothing. To, I have nothing to. Con I have nothing to say, you guys. I'm sorry. Sorry, I got a week off from that. I'm not. I'm not about to dive in. I'm not about to have to deal with it the first day back. Thank you to Piyush Bahal for the five months. I just nipped the other. Just nip the. Uh, nip the. Uh, what? Nip the bud or nip something in the bud? I forget what the saying is. Um, as far as the other topic, which I'm sure everyone wants to hear hear about. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe they aren't streaming today because it hasn't because it hasn't been uh hasn't been mentioned. Um, but you know. The other topic people love to, to bring up is Botez, and it's really great to see. It's great to see how well their travel show is doing. So I will say that before people are like, "Oh, you know, you know, they have so many viewers." Blah 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 and blah blah blah. So um, so that's that's what I would say because I'm I'm sure people want nip the juicer in the bud. Yeah. So I mean, so for all the people who are ready to start with that nonsense, um, I will just add that very uh, very briefly as well. It's really great to see um, great to see see that show popping off. Now he goes queen d six here. Slightly strange move. Um, I can obviously take and play knight e4 here. I know I'm much better. I just have to be smart about this. How do I do this? I know I'm better, but I can't quite see it. Hmm. Where is the win? Why, why can't I see it? I can't see it, so I'm just going to go e5. Oh, this might be wrong, too. Maybe I go bishop f6 and like queen h3. I'm gonna go Queen H3 and G4. I also have Queen F4. I should go to Italy. I Ludwig's thing looks kind of interesting. I mean, I, I've been in Italy many times, um, but it, Italy. I don't know. I don't know. That that'll be interesting to see how how that goes. I'm gonna go G4 next move. I mean, ho hopefully they're hopefully they're not going not going to Rome. That's what I would say. Let's play G4 here. Um. I just play knight g5 next move. Oh, I could have gone knight g5 right away. Why didn't I just do that? Stupid. I mean, Rome, yeah, I mean, Rome is the. I mean, big a. Take. He's going to take. I'm going to take. I'm up a pawn here. This doesn't mean it's really lovely or anything. I might have just blown this game, too. I should have just gone knight g5 right away. Okay, but that's just a big mistake. Um, Wait, no. No, he is, he is queen d5. Wait, I have to be smart about this. Um, I'm much better, but I have to be smart how I play this. Actually, maybe I just go here and queen e4, actually. What's the big deal? Queen h4, queen d5. Oh, huh. this is tricky. This is actually very tricky. Wait a second. And again, I feel like I'm... Now I, now I know I'm overthinking. Let's just go here. Takes, I can take and check. This should just be crushing. Actually, I don't know why he did this. This should be crushing. Why did I not play Tata still weak line of less money in Hawaii? I think it very Nord for the prime thing of Smellios for the 18. Uh, as far as why I did not play in that, it's because I planned a family vacation. I think I planned the vacation like four months ago. Like it was a vacation I planned a long time ago. Um, so because of that, actually I can just go here. 
um and he has no good moves uh it's a vacation i planned a very long time ago and i was invited to Hottestill. they made me a very good offer by the way like it was, a, it was a very good financial offer um but basically i had already planned this vacation you know my parents aren't aren't super young i mean my stepfather's i think he's uh he's set he's 70 he's 69 right now or no he's 70 he turned 70 in sep on september 11th um so he's he's 70 like i mean my mom is like 61 so they're not getting any younger and i just like you know it's uh you know time is passing so i i figured that's more important than, than than one chess tournament that's what i would say um so here i can play rook c8 next move i think i i think i will yeah i'm gonna go h5 it's probably not a good move he's gonna go like h4 in a castle i guess i have this against daniel something similar to this not this exact position but something similar uh, my grandmother I saw yesterday she is I believe 86 I think or 87 not 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 getting younger either I'm gonna go Queen a5 here so yeah so he became 50 on 9 11 he did yeah that was his 50th birthday I mean anybody who has a birthday on one of those dates like I don't know like December 7th or like September 11th or one of those dates yeah so it's pretty sucky pretty sucky to put it mildly because like you you can't I mean you just can't celebrate your birthday ever again um I've misplayed this. I have definitely misplayed this. I'm gonna go here in Bishop E6, maybe. I mean, this is quite disgustingly bad. Am I supporting them financially? No, they still work. Uh, well, my mom doesn't, but my stepfather does. He still teaches chess. He teaches chess in New York. If he doesn't celebrate, the terrorists win. Yes, but it's kind of it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to celebrate. I mean, like, so many people lost their lives. Um. Okay, I think I'm just gonna castle it. E5, I'll just take. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's a game. Yeah. Can we say you're partially retired from chess? No, I'm not retired from chess. What gave you that impression? I'm playing the World Rapid and Blitz. I'm gonna play the Fiat Grand Prix. I'm gonna win it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go beat Ali Res and the candidates. Um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I can go Bishop G4 here. Yeah, let's go Bishop G4. Attack the Rook here. Um. Play E5. Let's play E5. I can just take. <laughs> Shots fired. Well, qualifying is uh, qualifying is is uh, is not going to be easy. Let's put it that way. Um, oh right, it's gonna, that's going to end up on Reddit, right? That's going to end up on Reddit, of course. Obviously, obviously. Uh, I'm playing the Grand Prix. That confirmed. I mean, I don't know what I should or shouldn't say, but I, let's just say if I play the World Rapid and Blitz, I will be playing the uh, Grand Prix. That's that's a little bit that I'm going to say about it. Um. Okay, so I can take on F4 here. I don't know if I want to. I can also play like A6 and B. Actually, I think A6, B5 looks very, very reasonable for me here. I've got a great, I've got a great light square grip here. And I'm going to go Rook C8 and triple stack. A6, B5, B4. So it's pretty good. Did I hang out with OTB? It was very brief. So unfortunately, I mean, it was, I just did that shoot for like two hours. And then I had to go. Um, then I had to drive home. I mean, it was pretty funny because for that shoot, I think I, Lena was actually there. And um, because I parked in one of these like $10 parking lots or whatever it was i actually had to ask her to move my car once because i would have gotten a ticket otherwise let's go rook d8 attack the queen go b5 maybe bishop h6 very very pleasant position here very very pleasant here i just traded at bishop f5 I and mean, this looks this is looking very very special um I uh, love your sketch with OTV. Any future collabs? No, I don't. I'm not in Hawaii anymore. I'm I'm back in LA. Um, uh. Whoa, what is? Wait a second. I did not even see it. Did Elham? Did Elham just trick me somehow? Okay, I can take and take. I just take and take. I mean, it's very creative move by Elham. I don't think it quite works, but very creative. I take. Gets the rook behind. My two bishops should be good, though. My two bishops should be good. I, I think these pawns are too fast. Okay, he's going to go for this one, which definitely doesn't work because I also guard the only open file, so he can't infiltrate. Um. I don't want to check. Bishop f5 is a reasonable move. But I think I'm going to go here, here, and take. This seems like a pretty clean idea. I just don't... He's just not fast enough here with his pawn. Take. Ah, uh, he has an idea with rook c7. But I still think it's too slow. I can also go b6, but I think... Does it actually matter? 
think I will just, just, just why not? My bishop should cover the square too. Yeah, my bishop covers everything, and now I think I just go here in h2 and h2, h1. Classic wooden shield, and I just take them on. All right, let's go d4 here. Okay. I can play like knight f3, just keep going. Let's play knight f3 here. You get a Simo mess for the 10 months. Thank you so much, Simo mess. Let's go bishop f4, play e3 next move, keep it rolling. Go here, knight d2, bishop d3. Actually, I don't know why I played this order. It's not great, but we'll do it. London, yeah, London is an opening. It's a good opening, you guys. You got, you got to, you got to look at it. I mean, I blame myself for uh, for its popularity. If I hadn't, if I hadn't accidentally showed it to Fusli for uh, the game against E Rob and Pog Champs, I don't think it would have ever gotten the status it has now. Um, when I play SEC, that I do not know, you guys. I have no idea on that. No idea. That's, that's actually yeah that's actually not far from far from the truth that's what's kind of amazing not that's not far from the truth yeah i mean i guess i'll just take the juicer why not it's a free pawn okay so he wants to go e5 i'm gonna give him a big center but i mean maybe i just go here and take i mean i can obviously trade i think i'm just gonna castle though keep it simple e4 i mean i can take i can also go b4 b4 e4 knight d4 Let's just do it. E4, I'm going to take and take and take. Okay, it goes there. I guess I'll go Queen A4 or Queen B3. I don't know which one's right, but I'm going to go here. Obviously, trade. I'll just go here. If E4, I think I'm going to go Knight D4, C4, and try to blast off. If this should be 6 makes a lot of sense. Let's go here, attack the Knight now. He goes bishop d7. I don't think I want to grab. I think I'm just going to play here. And he'll probably play a6. I'll trade and then move the queen back again. Let's take. I don't really like this for black, though, because I'm covering the center squares. I can go a4, b4, a4, b5. I have c4 as well. Doesn't look quite right somehow for black. Go a4. Just watch the latest YouTube video. That was my brother that asked you to play the bond cloud. Oh, that's hilarious. Awesome goes f5 of course i play b5 just keep opening it up let's go here guard the pawns yeah black has a big center but i mean i am up a pawn and i'm gonna keep pushing on the queen side here i don't really believe in it i mean you can try g5 but it just doesn't feel right i also have c6 as well which is which is a big problem for black too i think i'm just much better any plans to return to hawaii soon not not right now no this is a elham elham what's his I, he, I don't remember his last name um but this is Elham he is a uh let's go here knight a5 maybe also c4 open up the file this jump I have this everything is looking very very good for me here and he's got no real kingside attack it's just too slow first name L last name Ham yeah exactly his name is El Ham the the big ham although that's not that's not how you say ham in Spanish so uh, it wouldn't be El Ham it would be something else uh thank you to XM Flakes thank you so much appreciate it it's spanish for ham yeah ham is not ham that's the only reason it doesn't work so he's trying to get an attack here but I, I mean oh he's got actually he has f4 which i missed um actually this might be a little tricky then somehow i just forgot he had f4 here let's go here go here cover this this is actually quite tricky i have to be very careful here i might have misplayed this, this he might be crashing through i think i might have made a big mistake um yeah I made a big mistake here it's actually very dangerous yeah I guess I have to go I just blundered this this is insane I actually just blundered go here and pray I do have knight c6 though that's why my one redeeming thing here I don't think the queen sack works, right? Because I just I escaped. I mean, I think I kind of have to go all in here. I have knight b7 or knight c6. I think I have to go all in. He was trying to create a checkmate, by the way. That's his idea. Queen g3 and bishop e. Oh, that's not me. Why did I do this? Okay, so I'm going to take the rook. I 
e5. I saw this is a move. I thought I'd maybe c6 here. I go to g1 probably. I'm covering the squares here. I mean, my pawn is very, very fast. My pawns are really fast here on the queen side. So I think I'm winning, but it goes queen g7. I mean, I can play c7. I can also move my rook to f1. As long as I don't, as long as I don't lose on time, or as long as I don't lose on the board. Start as bishop e1. So knight e6 is not a move. He wants queen h6. That's the obvious choice. Go here and here. That's a mistake, though, I think. I have this. And I stopped the checkmate. Yeah, I saw that. But I think now I can go here and check. I'm just safe. And I'm threatening mate in one, basically, with knight e6 or knight f7. This doesn't do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I think you take on for the three. Joel Haven for the 12. It's, it's a win. I think queen h2 is a slip. I think he meant to go queen h1. But it's it's what it is. Anyway, five in a row. We gotta win five more. Five more. That's it. That's the goal. Okay, let's keep going with the night orcs and the dragons. Yeah, he had no time. So think of boss washer boards for six months. Okay, he's gonna play this again. How much longer do I plan on streaming? Um, for some wait a second. Is this a blunder or not? Wait. 94, 96, knight c3, bishop f7. D7. This order looks wrong somehow to me. I don't know why it looks wrong. They had an easy for the five gift. This, this order looks wrong. So I mean the question is do I trust my instinct that it's wrong or do I just play? I'm just gonna play chess, I guess. Go here, hit the bishop. Maybe just a6. I think I can actually castle on this one. The h4, I have h5, g4. Okay, place bishop h6, which maybe is wrong, because I can sack an exchange, although I don't know if it's right. Also take and play like e5. Hmm. Let me think for a second. I'm going to go e5 here. Thinking of Moses for the 12 months. He had knight takes f7 at the end, maybe. Wait, if I take and take, wait a second. Is queen d6? No, I, I have to take. I think I think I, I think this is correct. Let's see. Is knight b5 here knight e2? And then I take and play like rook c6 and queen a5, and it's pretty aggressive. Not clear cut, of course, but it's playable. So I prefer the knight over the dragon. The knight over is a little bit better, generally. At least in top level games, I would say. First Bond Cloud that I played, I don't know when the first Bond Cloud was. It's been, it's been a long time. I mean, I think someone from Seattle showed me that PDF. I don't remember when it was exactly this. Of course, I take and play here. Right, but when he takes this way, I think there's supposed to be some trick with. I think there's some trick with d5 and b5, b4, as I recall. There's also a bishop f5 check. So I think white's supposed to take with the a pawn. So let's go check. Now I go b4, and it's a little bit sketchy here. Okay, let's go b4, of course. Yeah, I knew about the bond cloud before I streamed, but I don't remember when, when I first... Um, when, when that first became like the meme. Well, I think I maybe I did this wrong too somehow. I think I did. Um, go here, hit the pawn. He takes I have rookie eight, of course, to win material. This king is also a little bit bad here. The king is kind of bad here because it's kind of boxed. And if he ever tries to create lift, I can take and weaken his structure. So it goes knight g3. I can play. I think just queen d6 is fine here. Problem is this king is really bad. Okay, I'm gonna go. Actually, he has 94 ideas, so I do have to be careful how I do this. Let's see, rook c7 and rook c8 looks fine. Go six queen f6, knight h5 takes, knight f5 takes. Queen g5 is a, is a fairly serious threat here, so I think I'm gonna play h6. Just stop this idea. If rook f6, I can just take with the queen. 
94 I can always trade I really want to go rook c5 at some point like rook c5 rook c8 go for the go for the back rank checkmates because of this king position with this this weird structure around it place h4 I don't like that um wait rook c5 he has rook f6 I keep forgetting that he has that move try and play h5 I go h5 he has queen g5 which would be a disaster go here attack the queen Is there some trick that I'm missing if I play f5 if he takes like if he takes with the rook I take 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 then I have like knight knight e3 I believe also rook f5 allows knight f2 as well I should be better here unless I'm crazy which is very possible that I am thank you to Jerry rack for the two Tony likes physics thank you to I hate and for the 17 months thank you so much appreciate it it goes to e2 which has to be a mistake um because now I can lock the knight permanently and now his pawn is bad I have e4 as well because the overprotection of the knight here you can also go a5 even rook c5 looks amazing queen g5 I guess is the idea don't want to play e4 rook c5 queen g5 okay wait but I, I okay I'm just gonna sidestep queen g5 anyway go here trade some queens here. Oh, I give him 94, which I should not have given him. That was very poor by me. Oh, this is actually really bad by me. Let's go here. But now I can go here, maybe. Should still be winning. Again, his king is so bad here. King is so bad on A1. Okay, go here, and I mean... Go here, knight D3, I guess. What am I doing? Okay, I've checked me on B2. He can't stop it. Not so good in the scrambles. Thank you to Xin Hunt for the 16 months. Not very good in these scrambles, but I but I got it done. Okay, let's go back to E4. Keep it simple. Don't even know what I was beating him with before. I think I, was, I played a London, right? So let's go here, here, trade. trade of course go back take d4 just castles probably rook d1 I guess stop e5 well it didn't actually stop it I guess hmm I think JG for the three thing of cure cure of zombies thank you so much I mean Bishop g5 is again a move as is d5 a d5 is also again a move is it a good move or a bad move just do it I guess hopefully this isn't bad take take with the rook or not take with the rook that's the question queen d5 knight of six small edge move. I'm gonna take with the rook so I think I'm gonna go Bishop e3 is a move queen b3 is also a reasonable move I'm gonna go here just want to prevent f5 he plays knight b6 which I saw as a move but I didn't think it was a great move because I figured I could finish my development now with like Bishop g5 this rook c8 which I also don't really understand but Bishop e3 wait a second let's think about this I guess I'll play c3 I don't really like it but it's reasonable I have Bishop e3 pressure on these pawns Queen c4 I can obviously trade go b3 c4 he goes knight c4 actually that's a very good move why did I forget about that as a move that's uh, very poor by me go here target the pawn I guess I can play rook a d1 next move um all these pawns are a little bit weak here what's the most important piece rook or the bishop I mean they're all they're all somewhat important go here and trade be careful now still slightly better I think but it's not not trivial a7 is again weak it was f5 which I think I'm kind of happy to see I felt like I should have some tactic here I don't see it so I guess I'll just come back tonight maybe f1 was better 
Hard to judge. F1, D2 is definitely better. I don't know why I went to E2. B6. I guess I'll just go... Maybe just F3 and Bishop F2 here. I don't like my position. If E4, I just trade and move the Rook away because he can't take to the pin. Play Bishop F2 here. I'm going to go to C1, though. Kind of worried about stuff on this king side. Here, maybe just king h1. Maybe knight g3 is a move. Really don't like my position here. The e3, I have rook f1, which is completely fine. See what he does. Goes knight e5. That's a mistake. Now I have this. We still got rook c4. Let's just bring the king closer, I guess. Should have gone bishop d2. Should have done this in one go. So I have b3 and bring the bring the bring the knight in. Very poor. I go h3 knight f6. I guess still good. Go h3. Knight bishop e5. I thought I had b3 here maybe. Go here. Take the pawn, and now I should be winning. Maybe winning is too strong a word. Okay, goes knight f6. I can play check. I'll obviously, just trade, but I think I'm gonna check go c4 and just play the position. I also have rookie one here. Actually, this might just be losing. He can't go to the d fox with the fossil here. He goes here. Maybe I go rookie one, hit the bishop. It actually looks really, really bad for black. Let's go here. Play knight f3. I can also just take a pawn. I mean, it is a pawn. Go c4. Up two pawns. Very clean position here. Uh, what does that do? Doesn't do anything. Really doesn't do anything. But I'll just go knight g5 and knight f3, I guess. If knight e5, I have bishop d4. He goes. I do have b4 here. Let's go here, though. Keep it very simple. Bring the king up, and, and now it's just very easy, very routine. So knight g5, knight e4. Rookie six is a move. Everything's collapsing here for black, I think. Let's go check and take. Now I'm just going to run the pawn off the board. Pawn is just going. Let's go here. He checks, takes, and I just won the game anyway. Three more to go. Probably keep playing Sicilian. It's been working so far. Thank you to Khalil Lull for the 16. Thank you to the Mac for the 16. Let's keep going. Go here. Let's play more Dragon. He keeps doing this. I don't really believe in it. He hasn't really shown me anything exceptional yet. So let's go here. Knight a5. Rook c8. All very standard. He does it again. Okay, so let's play e5. Let's just take two. From 0, 1 to 7, 1, yeah, I've won 7 in a row. Does this all take? Takes with the A pawn, which I believe is the correct one. So I'm going to go here. I mean, I have B5 and Queen A5. I think Queen A5 is supposed to be the right move. So let's go here. I have Queen A1 coming in now. It's pretty scary for, for white, I believe. But we'll see if I'm playing the right way or not. A lot of threats down towards A1 here. Also, he's not even mating me, even if he takes. So I can take with the F pawn. My knight still guards H7. So it should be good. Also, he can't really go King B1 here, because then I go Rook A6. I mean... Wait a second. If I take... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Okay, so obviously I should trade. I think I just go b5 and win, but maybe I'm insane. b5, h5. Takes, takes, takes. There's no, no nothing happening. Let's just go here. He's going to go h5. He just take. He takes, and I take my knight guards, and I think he just loses the game. I don't believe in dragons, Robert James Fisher and me. I mean, I do believe in dragons. Dragons are great. 
Maybe to Shazley for the nine months. Thanks so much, Shazley. Appreciate it. There's just nothing he can do. He can go H5, but he's not actually mating. So my lone knight protects my king, and everything else is shifting towards where his king is. Oh, did he find something tricky? Wait, did I just take? Yeah, but now I just come back. And it's over. Okay, eight up, eight down. Let's keep going. Let's go E4 again. He could have tried the other order maybe with H5 first, but it still wouldn't have done it, done much. Go here and trade, not bishop c4 this time, something a little bit different. What did I do? I think I played rook d1 and d4, right? And bishop g5 is the right order. Wait a second. Bishop g5, I think it's fine. Because takes, I take and go queen f4. It does it this way. Let's take. Take. I have d5 or knight e4 first. I just have to figure out the ordering. I think I'm going to go d5 first. So he doesn't get f5 with a tempo here. Up back and take. Maybe I should have put the knight on e4. Who knows? Am I going to cover the match live? I will cover it. Um... I go here and I have rook d1. I mean, this should be pleasant for me. I have rook d7. Isn't that just a blunder? Or am I crazy? It's just a blunder. Wow, Elheim is actually completely tilting here. He's just tilting now here. 